All right, guys. Today, today, we are gonna make egg salad. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the things that I get together and get ready. First thing you're gonna need some eggs. Very important when you're making egg salad, you want to have eggs. Okay. Next thing you need is some garlic. This is like uh, dried chopped things of garlic. I like that. That's good. And some garlic powder. This is uh, ground up garlic. Dried ground up garlic. A little bit of black pepper. And some mayonnaise. I buy the cheap stuff because I'm cheap. But any old mayonnaise will work, but you don't necessarily need that now. So go ahead and put that back in the fridge until we need that. So we're going to need a pot. I'm going to use this one. Okay. And then we're going to need some H2O in that pot. So put some water in there. Deep enough for an egg when it's laying on its side or standing up. I like to fill it up. It takes longer to boil, but whatever. All right. And then we go over to the stove. All right. So we're at the stove. You're going to want to go ahead and put your eggs in first before you... Uh, fire it up. Make sure your eggs look good, that they're not like a funky color or something. But you want to make sure you put the eggs, because you know, most people keep their eggs in the fridge. So you want to put the eggs in the pot like this. Just nice. I like egg salad, so I'm going to do a whole bunch. They're all wedged in there. This is going to be awesome. Now we're going to crank the knob to high. And let her chuge. After filling my pot, I've noticed that the displacement of the eggs has left the water damn near the edge. So I'm going to go ahead now and just drain a little bit off. That should be sufficient. And now we wait, bring to a boil. Alright guys, these eggs are they're large eggs. They've been boiling about oh, 10 minutes. You want to go ahead and turn the burner off. And we're going to take this pot. It's hot. So I'm going to grab some hand protection. Protection. And we're going to go over to the sink. Just set that down in there and then just put some... Just let some water run in there and cool these bad boys down. I didn't even do a test. I should have done a test to see if they were uh, if they were done or not. You take them out, you let it dry off, and if the egg dries off immediately, then it's done. Uh, if it doesn't, you got to boil it longer. But I didn't, so let's just hope they're done. And if they're not, well, I hope, I hope I didn't dicker. Next, you want to get your bowl that you're going to mix your egg salad in. I just set it in the sink next to me because that's what I'm going to put the eggs in once I unshell them. And I leave the water running. These don't feel too bad. Give her a little crack. And they might not be quite done yet. We'll find out here in a second. But you just want to use the water and peel all the all the shell off. Okay, crack this guy open. And there you can see it's done pretty good. So you and eggs we go. Probably speed this part up. Maybe a little less water consumption too. Some of them just jump right out of the shells. Other ones, it's like, oh my goodness, 80,000 million little pieces of shell? Are you serious? Come on. There's a shell and there's a little membrane under there that we gotta get off. A little membrane, yuck.
Wait, can you open? Alright, so now you're going to want a knife. A knife. You want to get your mayonnaise back out of the fridge because we're going to need that. And I need a fork. So, I normally also have another bowl because I take the eggs back out of here. Put them in there. Except for the ones that I decked when I was cutting them up. Or not cutting them up, but whatever. And you just take your knife and just Chop her up into little pieces. Doesn't have to be perfect. Try not to stab yourself like I just about did. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just freaking cut it up into chunks. Oh, I love eggs. Ow, that's hot. Okay, get the knife running through there a few times. Just, you know, keep this get egg everywhere and make a huge mess. Okay, so, put your hands in there, give it a squeeze. Just give it a squeeze and make it come through your hands. Wash your hands first, of course, but just, yeah, it's hotter than freak, but just give it a squeeze. You know? Okay. Alright, now that is about the right consistency. Quick little rinse off there. Alright, we're done with that bowl. Done with the knife. Okay, so as you can see, we now have our our just pure eggs. There's nothing else in there, just eggs. Now, get your fork. Make sure everything's good and separated still. Okay, we're also going to need for this procedure, we're going to need a spoon, a friggin' big one, okay, so, this is a lot of eggs, so I'm going to go one, two and a half on that one, oh my goodness, and three, okay, wonderful, lick your finger, Bob's your uncle, garlic powder, you need that. Okay, so you got some of that in there. Pure garlic chunks. So they don't come out of here very good, so make sure you only get that many. So I'll give her a bunch. You know, I like lots of garlic. If you don't like garlic, don't put it in. Okay, you could just make eggs and mayonnaise, you know, but I like to put a little shazam in there. Look again with the cheapness with the compliments. because uh, you need that. Okay, so I just uh you don't want to overdo it with the pepper. You overdo it with the pepper, you're going to deck her. Okay? So there we go. We got all our ingredients in there. Just start mixing. Get egg everywhere. That's the most important thing is to get egg all over the place. You want to get egg just, just about everywhere. The ceiling, the cabinet, the floor, the you know, in the fridge if you can. You want to get that just about everywhere. So, here's the thickness and consistency I've got. I like my egg salad a little on the creamy side. So I'm going to go ahead and put another dowel. And uh, that's it. Don't forget to lick the spoon on the mayonnaise. That's important too. Mayonnaise back in the fridge. Good. Oh yeah, this is looking really good. Oh, oh can you smell it? Can you smell it? Whew. That's great. 
Alright, so. And that's that. I say make egg salad. That's how I make egg salad. That's pretty good. It's got, uh, maybe not quite enough garlic. But maybe just enough. So, now you want to chill it, because I like it cold. I don't like my, um, egg salad hot. So, geez, I wish the prep team would have got everything out that I need. They just stick to me. So here we go. Oh, I don't know how to use this stuff. Oh, where's my wife? It says tear here. Alright, whatever. You lying son of a bitch. Alright. This isn't like saran wrap. This is like stretch me and pull me and I lock on stuff. It's decked. It's supposed to stay on there. So there, now chill her and put her in the fridge. Okay, so through the miracle of editing and the YouTube TV and all that great stuff, our egg salad is chilled. Oh, just, just look at that. Do you want to dig right in and then fart your ass off like big time? Alright, so we're going to move that to the side. I've already got two pieces of bread here that I've I've buttered. I like, I like butter on mine. And we'll grab a new fork. Just bang out a blob on there. Alright. Like so. Maybe a little bit more because I like it. You bite into it and it goes all over the friggin' place. Make a big mess and stuff. Alright. Put the top on. Cut the sucker in half. Cut her in half. I like to, you know, spread it. It's for the, the appearance, you know. Spread the sandwich, a little garnish, a little garnish, and there you go. An egg salad sandwich. That's how I make it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.